this video is about measurement calibration and uncertainty analysis basic terminology of measurement measurement the international vocabulary of basic and general terms in metrology PIM using international organization for standardization ISO norms has defined measurement as a set of operations having the object of determining the value of a quantity. In other words, a measurement is the evaluation of a quantity made after comparing it to a quantity of the same type which we use as a unit. Next term, metrology. The science and grammar of measurement is defined as the field of knowledge concerned with measurement. Standardized measurement units mean the scientific and economic figures can be understood, reproduced and converted with a high degree of certitude. Next, instrumentation refers to a group of permanent systems which help us measure object and maintain retroactive control of a process. In this sense, instruments and systems of measurement constitute the tools of measurement and metrology. Next term, load effects. Measurement operations may require connection in C2 invasive, semi-invasive or contact measurement or without contact. This linking of an instrument to an object or site of investigation means that a transfer of energy and or information termed a load effect takes place. An example of this is shown by the insertion of a measuring probe into a cup of tea which takes some heat from the tea leading to a difference between the true value and the value to be measured. Now, talk about the term calibration. The relationship between the value of the input to the measurement system and the system's indicated output value is established during calibration of the measurement system. The quantity to be measured being the measurement which we call M. The sensor must convert M into an electrical variable called S. The expression S is equal to F of M is established by calibration. By using a standard or unit of measurement, we discover for these values of M, M1, M2, Mi, etc electrical signals we sent by the sensors S1, S2 to SI and we trace the curve S of M called the sensor calibration curve. Look at these figures, the first figure there is the standardization MI as well as the SI in the X axis and Y axis respectfully and you can see the measurement else and measurement M. In the next figure, you also see the same things. Now, talk about the next term, accuracy and precision. Accuracy. Accuracy of a system can be estimated during calibration. It, if the input value of calibration is known exactly, then it can called the true value. The accuracy of a measurement system refers to its ability to indicate a true value exactly. Accuracy is related to absolute error, epsilon. Epsilon is equal to true value minus indicated value, from which the percent accuracy is found by A is equal to 1 minus epsilon divided by true value multiply 100. Precision. Precision or repeatability of a measuring system refers to the ability of the system 
to indicate a particular value upon repeated by independent applications of a specific value input. Precision of a measurement describes the units used to measure something. There is an example of precision. How long is the pencil? Look at these two figures, almost same, but not the same. The first figures, the best you can say is about 9 centimeters. But in the second figure, the best you can say is about 9.5 centimeters. The second measurement is more precise because you used a smaller unit to measure with. It is impossible to make a perfectly precise measurement. Accuracy can be improved up to but not beyond the precision of the instrument by calibration. Precision and bias errors. So what is the precision error? Precision error is the measure of the random variation found during repeated measurements. And bias error is the difference between the average value in a series of repeated calibration measurements and the true value. Look at these figures in the first figure. High repeatability gives low random error but no direct indication of accuracy. In the next figure, high accuracy means low random and systematic errors. And the last figures, systematic and random errors lead to poor accuracy. Look at this. This is a figure of effects of precision and bias errors on calibration readings. In the x-axis, there is measured reading number and in the y-axis, there is measured value units and look at this measured data. True or known value, test systematic error and the apparent measured average is scattered due to random error. There are some examples of elements of instrumental errors. The first one, you can see here input value as well as the output value. Look at the second figure, you can see here tail K which is equal to for typical device, normal curve for typical device and the minimum and maximum for typical device. In the third figure, you see here the typical shift high or the typical shift low as well as the nominal. At the bottom, the fourth figure is actual data trend and based linear curve fit. In figure 5, you can see the down scale, the up scale and the hysteresis. And the last figures, you only see the input value. So, there are six different curves, uh, or you can see the six different graphs. Okay. The so term used in instrument rating. Resolution, the smallest increment of change in the measured value that can be determined from the instrument's readout scale. The resolution is often on the same order as the precision. Sometimes it is smaller. Sensitivity, the change of an instrument's output per unit change in the measured quantity. Typically, an instrument with higher sensitivity will have also finer resolution, better precision and higher accuracy. Next, range. The proper procedure for calibration is to apply known inputs ranging from the minimum to the maximum values for which the measurement systems is to be used. This limits the operating. Next one, hysteresis. An instrument is said to exhibit hysteresis when there is a difference in reading on whether the value of the measured quantity is approached from above or below.